about to react to the evolution of Leatherface by Tell It Animated. Big shout out to them for the evolution of Leatherface. And I had, I forgot the name, but someone uh, recommended that I react to this. But don't forget to go show Tell It Animated some love. Drop a like here, subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers, baby. And let's get into the evolution of Leatherface. Here we go. I, I don't know if I've watched. I've watched a lot what of What you are about to see is the result of multiple production companies milking a long dormant franchise, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Specifically, it's about Leatherface. In 1974, he slashed his way onto the silver screen, and he's since appeared in seven more films. This is his evolution. Animated. I've never seen an intro like that. Oh, that's cool. Leatherface first appears in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, sporting an apron and face mask with large misformed ears and dark brown hair. He switches into a more grandmother- Never disappoints! This was four years ago! And it's just like the same good quality! ...the attire to meal prep before putting on his Sunday oh. best and a makeup covered mask just in time for family dinner. Oh my gosh, some of the- In the sequel, which takes place 13 years- I look like the Joker a little bit, right? <laughs> Later, uh. Leatherface is thinner and wears a heavily stitched mask with messy hair and a fancy tuxedo. He falls in love with a radio DJ, but the romance is interrupted when he faces off against a vengeful lieutenant. Yo, we need to see Leatherface versus Chainsaw Man. That would be legit. He's thinner and wears a heavily stitched mask with messy hair and a fancy tuxedo. He falls in love with a radio DJ, but the romance Aww. is interrupted when he faces off against a vengeful lieutenant, resulting in an explosion uh Oh, no he could survive. But he's back. He did. Somehow. Never mind. He in did. Face, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Wearing an orange dress shirt, brown pants, and a leg brace. His mask features an angrier expression with shaggy hair. This time, Leatherface has a young daughter he's raising. Oh, great. That, that can't be good. But he gets hit with a rock, then drowns in the swamp. But his death is short-lived. And in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation, Leatherface is now chunkier and has longer, curlier hair poking through a darker mask. Okay. All right. All right. So that uh, the chain, the let, wow, I was saying chainsaw. Man, this is Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So this is the one that I kind of recognize. He's a little bit bigger. And in the most recent movie, I don't even remember the recent movie's name, but I'm sure he's going to go. No, he couldn't have gone over it because that movie wasn't out yet. However, in the new movie, he was in like this abandoned town. Oh, God, there's, there's spoilers. In abandoned town, it, there was this old lady that lived with him and said he was a psycho. I don't remember any daughter, there's though. a long white tee, a camo jacket, and an orange apron. Later, he briefly steps into another grandma-esque apron and mask, and eventually settles on a younger female look with a sleek black dress to show off his new curvy figure. Finally, it's- No way. No way. What is that? He briefly steps into another grandma-esque apron and mask, and eventually settles on a younger female look with a sleek black dress to show off his new curvy figure. Finally, it's revealed that Leatherface is being paid by an Illuminati-type organization to scare unsuspecting victims. What? Or, uh, something like that. But it doesn't matter, because this- Okay, that is the depth- that is the weirdest one. And he's being paid? What a twist! Timeline would be forgotten for a reboot series. Starting with the reboot prequel, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning, we see a baby Leatherface, apparently born with a skin disorder, get tossed into a dumpster. That looked like more like a, a baby Jason Voorhees. He's saved from the garbage and grows into a muscular man wearing a leather muzzle to cover his face. After getting fired from his slaughterhouse job, he fashions a young male mask with curly- Whoa, the face of that one looks cool. I don't know about the hair, but the face of that one looks- Pretty cool. Like, almost like a humanized Chucky doll. Hair. In the original reboot, Leatherface's hair is shorter. His clothes- Oh, man, that does not look like Leatherface to me, but it- This is like one of my favorite looking Leatherfaces. Darker and ragged, and he's wearing arm protectors. His mask is gray with a fur- What the- Completely different now. brow. And for a short while, he also donned- Whoa! That is believable looking. The mustachioed mask. Despite losing an arm, he leaves a quick video behind before disappearing forever. A the video. reboots would be dropped in order to make a direct sequel to the original. Picking up where the first movie left off, Leatherface is shown once again in a slightly altered Sunday Best Ensemble. When his house is set on fire, he's assumed to be dead, only to reappear 40 years later. He starts by wearing a red shirt, brown pants and apron, and a dark, uneven mask, then upgrades to a pale, unshapely mask. 
he meets his long-lost, oddly attractive cousin, who eventually helps him face off against the people who burned down his house. The origin film, Leatherface, depicts a young child Leatherface wearing a cow. This is so interesting. I can't even pause it because I'm so deep into this. But it, it's interesting in a very scary way, okay? I'm just saying like this. Look at the thing on my screen. Long-lost, oddly attractive cousin, who eventually helps him face off against the people who burned down his house. The origin film, Leatherface, that was really cool how they made it come towards us. wearing a cow head. He's tossed into an institution and grows into a large young man built exactly That's how a very we large him. young man. Uh, oops, uh, never mind. Looked that's like seven foot. Character. He's actually it was like seven foot. wearing a cow head. He's tossed into an institution and grows into a large young man built exactly how we remember him. Uh, oops, uh, never mind. That's the wrong character. What? He's actually this skinny, handsome boy. Oh. He falls for an attractive nurse and breaks out of the institution. When his face becomes disfigured, he decides to, shall we say, act out and start wearing skin masks because, well, he's angry. He I went to kill his girlfriend? Crazy. Yes. I don't know. I'm just waiting for the prequel sequel where he grows six inches and gains 200 pounds to become the other face we actually care about. Well, wait, wait, nobody cared about the small one? So you mean to tell me this dude got on steroids because, or protein well, or whatever? He's angry, I guess. He hit the gym gym. Yes. I don't know. I'm just waiting for the prequel sequel where he grows six inches and gains prequel sequel <laughs> gains 200 pounds to become the other yo what does that say human protein wait animal standard okay the look at the little easter eggs in these chili care about thank you for subscribing wow. and liking the video that was incredible that was really good now they are missing the newest one uh I, don't, I think there's only one new one after this this video is four years old maybe i think there's only one more I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite Chainsaw Man is. I think it's the one with the, the fatter one with the certain mask that I commented on. Yeah, like this one. Not quite this one, but tea. that yep. one maybe a, a little jacket. bit different. And an orange apron. Later, something he briefly something like this. Grandma apron. Okay, and until that. he turns into like a woman that's very confusing. I did, <laughs> what, what's going on here? <laughs> Whatever, guys. Let me know your favorite Leatherface in the comments below. And your favorite Leatherface movie. And have you seen the new one? I don't even think it's called Leatherface. Drop a like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.